This workout is no joke, but I promise you the results are gonna speak for themselves. When you feel like things are getting hard during, take a moment to take deep breaths in through your nose, exhale through your mouth and stay calm. You are gonna finish this workout feeling the strongest you have ever felt. Let's get it. In the front row, kicking back old school trash like damn. Can't get enough of this mo like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam. Let's go. You are going to want to say your first prayer for this superset. We are going to be doing a dumbbell hip thrust. You want to place your upper back on a bench or a stable chair behind you and make sure your feet are a couple feet out in front of you. A good marker is that from the side when your hips are fully extended at the top here, if your knees are right over your ankles, you're in the perfect position. From here, I want you to dip your hips down and then scoop your pelvis up almost as if you're like dipping a chip in a dip. You want to think of your pelvis is that pushing your hips up against the weight we're then going to superset this with pulse squats you're going to take a nice shoulder width stance and just pulse up and down the burn is going to be real just focus on taking deep breaths you got this
This next superset is curtsy lunges. So we're going to be doing a lunge with a slight variation. When you step back, you're going to bring your back foot across the other side of your stable leg. So as you can see here, I'm bringing my right leg back and behind my left leg. We're gonna switch to the other side. You're gonna feel this a lot more in your glutes. And if you're not, try leaning forward a little bit more and it's gonna put a lot more tension on your glutes. If you can't step down all the way, you don't have to. And if you have to hold on to something for support you can hold one dumbbell in one hand and hold on to something in the other hand to keep you nice and stable focus on your breathing during this as well we're next going to grab our dumbbell and go into a dumbbell good morning you're going to place the weight behind your neck from here you're going to push your hips back as if you're pushing them to the wall behind you stand up straight and squeeze your glutes at the top the burn is real
I know you're probably dying right now, but I love everything about this workout and I promise you are gonna love these results too. So we are next going into a close stance dumbbell squat. It's a goblet squat, so you're gonna hold one head of a dumbbell up at your chest, have your feet about shoulder width apart, bend at the hips and knees at the same exact time, sitting into a squat. We're then gonna superset this with a variation of a glute kickback. It's a straight leg kickback, and almost similar to the curtsy lunge, you're gonna bring your leg down and over your current leg that is on the floor, and then bring that leg up and out to the side to target a bit more of your upper and even a little bit of the side glute here. I'm trying to show you some different angles here so you can kind of get an idea for it. But you're gonna start by going over the stable stationary leg and then out to the opposite side and keep your core nice and tight when you're doing this as well. If you arch your back a lot, you're gonna get some back pain.
at the stars, up at the stars I'm caught inside a loop where I can get to your heart Get to your heart Chao.